you coming? This Saturday from 10, Clued Up with Lucy Ambash. Have you taken part in Clued Up yet? No time to waste. Roving reporter Seuss. We've just gone past something called Cow Shop Close. I've no idea where we are. As the clock ticks down. We've seen a sign. Don't crash into that car. Oh, there are five clues to solve. Give me a breath by the time I get here. In under three hours. Your local knowledge of Hampshire, Dorset and the Isle of Wight. We're looking for stables in Coombe Lane. Is invaluable as we strive to beat the clue guru. Are you my clue keeper? I am. Clued up with Lucy Ambash. Saturday morning from... From 10, BBC Radio Solent, the sound of the South. Good morning, you're listening to BBC Radio Solent. Alan Newman at breakfast. On the 16th of October, I'll be hosting a very special evening in Southampton. It's the Shine Walk for Cancer Research UK, raising money for life-saving research. Georgina Ainsworth is from Cancer Research UK. She joins me on the show. Good morning, Georgina. Hi, Alan. Thank you for having me. You must be thrilled that it's finally back. We're doing normal things again. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, it's been a really difficult year for everyone, hasn't it? Um, unfortunately, Cancer Research UK weren't able to put on any of our um, mass participation events last year year such as shine night walk so we're really really pleased to be back this year many people i know these walks are huge but many people won't even know about the shine walk so explain a little bit about what it is yeah definitely it is relatively new so it has happened once before in southampton back in 2019 um shine night walk is basically a night where we gather together in a chosen city so we've got lots of them across the uk but this one we're talking about obviously is in southampton and it is a 10 kilometer walk through the city center we're asking people to light up the streets you know lots of people come with things like fairy lights and lots of things like that to light up the city and to raise money for cancer research uk let's talk now to sue who's taking part in the shine walk on the uh, 16th of october sue good morning to you good morning been to these events before and beneath the sort of fairy lights and all the cheering and smiling and waving so many people have a connection i'm assuming that's exactly why you're taking part in the shine walk this year Yes, that's exactly why. My husband passed away in uh, May this year, on May the 2nd. Um, he had uh, cancer of the unknown primary, which I understand is quite a rare form of cancer. We, When he was diagnosed, we didn't know anything about it. We learned very quickly that it was not a good prognosis. And um, after lots of tests and uh, uh, trying out some sort of treatment, Unfortunately, nothing was working and that's where we uh, got into unknown territory and unfortunately, as I said, he passed away in May. Uh, one of the first things we wanted to do was thought about fundraising because it might highlight uh, these unknown uh, cancers, these rare cancers. So our family, that's what they wanted to do to find a, an event to fundraise. I'm going to be walking with um, my partner's daughter, my stepdaughter, and um, two grandchildren, my daughter-in-law, and my husband's sister. I've been to these walks, and they are brilliant for raising money, and also they carry a, a wave of emotion. I think there'll be probably part of me that wanted to avoid doing anything, and part of me that feels like I need to get up and do something. Is that where you find yourself? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's um, how we all felt. You know, you just have a need to do something. And um, as you've just said, there wasn't a lot of uh, events being able to take place. So this one actually suited us all because it, it was, it was, we were able to involve the grandchildren as well. And the research that goes on is far and wide and we hear lots of different elements and we're all looking for breakthroughs in those moments where we perhaps be the smallest sigh of relief that we're moving forwards. You've been a cancer survivor yourself. That's right. I had um, juvenile thyroid cancer when I was, uh, well, it was diagnosed at 12. Um, I had half my thyroid taken away at 12 years old and then they decided to take the rest of it out when I was 13. So it's really impacted your family in, in so many ways and travelled with you in your life as well. When you do the walk, do you find yourself sort of daydreaming and thinking back about Derek or do you sort of compartmentalise it away and go, no, this is the walk and I'm going to keep smiling and doing all those bits and pieces or do you allow yourself moments to reflect? Um, I don't think you could help but reflect. 
you know, it's still quite raw with me. But I will also be thinking about, you know, other family members that we've lost, um, my mother, my auntie, um, and also about friends that have survived cancer. So it's a mixture of, of um, everything, really. Yes, it has a bittersweet feel, doesn't it, for the people that Absolutely. we have lost on this walk and also that feeling of making a difference. So thank you for sharing your story with us on the show and I look forward to meeting you and your family when I'm there on the 16th. Oh, yes, we'd love that. Thank you. Let's just go back to Georgina. Just before we finish, Georgina, remind us all then to sign up for the Shine Walk. What should we do? You can either just Google search Shine Night Walk Southampton or you can go to shinenightwalk.org and click on the Southampton event. Um, we're hoping to see about a 1,000 people down there and raising about, hopefully, fingers crossed, about £70,000. So every penny counts and we're really looking forward to seeing everyone there. Yes, I will be there welcoming people, cheering them along, doing a few recordings. If you haven't done it before, I recommend you give it a go. If you're in any doubts at all, just jump onto the internet and look for Shy and Walk Cancer Research UK. And it's a really fun and somewhat beautiful and moving event to be a part of. Mm -hmm.